This is a winter weather alert. You are watching 13 on your side. Hey there, West Michigan. Thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron's winter weather again making its impact felt here across West Michigan as bands of lake effect snow continue to impact travel across the region. It will go from pretty easy going to some pretty treacherous conditions at times as we see bands push through and that's just kind of the nature of lake effect and we'll be dealing with it for the next several days. You can see some of those heavier impacts over in Muskegon where the roads remain snow covered at this hour as of about 945 temperatures were hanging around 30 degrees of some windy conditions out there too. Cullen Park in Holland has been snow covered for most of the evening with more snow coming down and just to show you how things can change out there. Here's the uh, 196 camera network. We're looking pretty good for most of those roads, but we move over to 31 and things get a little more slippery. You can see some of those double track lanes out there in the roadways, but this is actually better than it has been at times this evening, so do continue to use extra caution out there. Speaking of which, Michael Cooper sent in this video uh, from southbound 131 near Howard City, where a truck had gone off the road, and you can see just how icy those surfaces are at times. It's really going to be a treacherous evening and tomorrow as well, depending on where those snow bands set up. So the big takeaway here, leave extra time for your travels, slow it down and get there safely. Of course, if you have any snow photos you want to share with us, you can do so on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on Twitter and on Instagram. High temperature today hit 33 in Grand Rapids, 34 in Holland, 36 in Muskegon. Keep in mind, we should only be around 36 this time of the year, so about average and a second bullseye in a row. With the forecast told you 33 hit 33. Three days inside three degrees with just five misses in the last month of forecasting. When it comes to tomorrow, those temperatures will be about the same as today. That's why 13 weather balls lit up in green. No change for seen blinking bright with more snow in sight. View of the 13 weather ball sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. As of about 946, temperatures were mostly in the 20s out there. A few 30s still on the lakeshore, but everyone below freezing. Wind chills in the teens with winds coming from the southwest around 5 to 15 miles per hour gusting up into the 20s at times. Those winds will remain a little breezy tonight and certainly so as we head through tomorrow. The next 24 hours expected to see snow chances just about any time. Again, these will have peaks and valleys in terms of the intensity, but snow will be possible most all of the day. Temperatures tonight will drop into the 20s. We're up into the 30s as we head toward tomorrow at overnight low. We're calling it 28 here in the city with lake effect snow continuing through tomorrow. 31 Saturday afternoon. Lake effect starts to wrap up on Sunday morning. We may even see a few peaks of sun by the end of the day, but we'll stay mostly cloudy. 28, your high for Sunday. The winter weather advisories were expanded from where we were yesterday evening. Now all of West Michigan, except for Kalamazoo and Calhoun County, will be under winter weather advisories through 1 o'clock on Sunday morning. Not expecting this to go much beyond there in terms of time frame because the snow will really be starting to wrap up as we head into early. Sunday. Speaking of that snow, it was quite heavy at times around West Michigan during the nine o'clock hour. Again, the heaviest still toward the west of US 131. That'll continue to be the case until we get into tomorrow and the winds start to make a bit of a shift, but the pattern remains largely the same as yesterday. Low pressure system out toward the west. Winds come around that system into West Michigan, and that brings us lake enhanced snowfall as this system continues to push through. Hour by hour forecast here shows those snow bands continuing through the overnight tonight again heaviest from 131 to the west as we get into Saturday. Notice the winds. They start to kind of even out here, become a little more westerly. That pushes snow bands deeper toward the inland areas like Kent County, Ionia, Montcalm. We'll see additional accumulation as we head through the day on Saturday and into Saturday night as westerly winds push that lake enhanced snowfall deeper into West Michigan. Once you get further away from the lake shore, of course, totals going to go down and our total accumulations will stop again as we head towards Sunday day and lake effect finally starts to shut down temperatures on well, temperatures, but snowfall totals for your uh, Friday night into Saturday will possibly add another one to three inches for the hardest hit regions as we go towards Saturday morning, but we're not done with the snowfall there we will continue to add on top of that and we could see as much as six plus in a few spots out there by the time we head toward early Sunday morning. This is going to be additional snowfall on top of what has already fallen as of about nine o'clock on 
Friday evening. Now to the temperatures. We're looking at pretty much low 30s for your Saturday. We'll be around freezing on the lakeshore with breezy conditions out there. We'll be in the low 30s for our northern zones. Again, those winds gusting over 20 miles per hour throughout the day. Temperatures 31 from Grand Rapids down to Kalamazoo. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. Temperatures stay below freezing throughout the entirety of the 10 day forecast. In fact, much of the next five days below the 30 degree mark. More snow chances come in as we head toward the middle and late part of next week. And with temperatures staying below freezing, white Christmas is looking like a lock in as the snow that falls is not going to go anywhere. It's not just West Michigan dealing with this massive winter storm that is pummeling the nation. The Northeast also being hit with snow, ice and rain or a combination of all three, depending on where you live. Millions are dealing with messy commutes as others in the Midwest and South clean up what was left behind by the storm. ABC News's Rena Roy has the latest. Millions in the Northeast facing a brutal wintry mix. Snow, ice and rain pummeling the region. Parts of New England and New York expecting up to two feet of snow. We'll be ready for this. New York is ready as we always are, but um, we're ready. Yeah, bring it on. That precipitation coating highways across dozens of states. Tens of thousands of customers without power overnight in Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Maryland and Virginia. This comes as Americans get ready to hit the roads and skies for the holidays. The same storm system bringing a days long tornado outbreak to the south. 58 twisters since Tuesday. At least three people killed in Louisiana. Homes damaged for miles. Everything's going on. This house lifted off its foundation. 50 years. I raised my children here. But this here is terrible. I mean, nothing. I have nothing. The strongest reported tornado hitting Union Parish, Louisiana. Officials saying it was an EF3 with 140 mile per hour winds. Multiple homes also damaged in Clark County, Mississippi. And in St. Petersburg, Florida, a tornado tearing through this daycare. Winds up to 100 miles per hour, tree branches going through the roof. Children had left the room just seconds before. Thankfully, no one was hurt. There are winter storm warnings from Pennsylvania to Maine. Up to 28 inches of snow could fall in the Adirondack Mountains. But some good news here. The storm will move out tonight from New England with a drier weekend expected ahead. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Finally tonight, in case you missed it earlier this week, scientists on Tuesday announced what has been called the Holy Grail of clean energy. Isabel Lawrence from our sister station WKYC in Cleveland spoke with experts about the announcement of productive nuclear fusion. Simply put, this is one of the most impressive scientific feats of the 21st century. At the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California, scientists achieved fusion ignition, something they hope can change the future of energy. It starts with a process called nuclear fusion, which actually powers the sun and stars. It occurs when you have two nuclei uh, that, that combine, that fuse together to form a much heavier uh, nucleus. And at that point, it generates, it, it actually gives off an enormous amount of energy. To make that happen, scientists fired 192 lasers at a capsule holding two isotopes of hydrogen, causing an implosion and the release of energy. And what they did for the first time was they got more energy out than they put into it. Basically, scientists generated more energy than they used in the process. And the potential of harnessing that energy is what excites Professor Cyrus Taylor at Case Western Reserve University. Clean, limitless power uh, to, to basically power mankind. And once we've achieved that, right, um, then we don't have to worry about fossil fuels anymore. Right, this will be the basis for our civilization for the next million years. Having a cleaner source of power that scientists can generate is something John Dar Bradshaw with the Great Lakes Science Center says can be a game changer. By being able to use nuclear fusion reactors, we'll be able to use that power generation tool to make electricity that we can use to power most everything that we know. While this is an amazing breakthrough, we are still years away from commercial scale production and the use of this clean energy resource, but at least now we know it can be done. 
Well, now that you're up to date on the latest winter weather here in West Michigan and some weather and science from around the country, there's always more to be found at 13onyourside.com or by downloading the 13 on your side news and weather apps. For now, thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron's.